Since PowerShell is object-oriented and built on top of .NET, you can't just do an alias like you've done in older systems. Sometimes you first need to create a function. And so I'll give you an example. We're going to say function P1. And then in curly braces, we're going to say SSH root at, and I'm going to give it the IP address of my first Proxmox host and close the curly braces. Now this can be whatever other command or code that you want to put in here that you want to reference later on. Keep in mind, this is going to be for your local machine only, but there are mechanisms to export functions you've created and import them on other systems with PowerShell. So if we hit enter, now we can say get item function colon backslash and it's going to list p1 as an existing function i should add that you don't actually have to create an alias for this you can execute the function directly if we just say p1 it's going to prompt for my password and we're going to be connected to that proxmox host 